been like 24, 25, reps at 225. Um, I'm not sure about the 40, somewhere between the 4-3 and the 4-2 or 4-4, four, four, something like that. Um, vertical, I did like a 35. Rod jump, I jumped a 10-6. So. How's the stack up to the, to the first time? Um, well, this, this go around is better for me mentally and physically. Um, I was mentally prepared and physically prepared as well. Um, didn't have any injuries. Um, I trade hard, so hard work pays off. So. How so much can it help you? Uh, well, it improved my um, skill set. Um, now I'm a hybrid, so um, the more I can do, the better, the more valuable um, I will be. So it helped out a lot with the return game and, and the receiver aspect of my um, new game. I think you can catch the ball better out the back. That's the <laughs> big thing. You know? uh, just line me up anywhere. I'm just ready to play ball. So you talked about how uh, when Pat came yesterday, or yesterday, last year, you know, he didn't get to do all the things that you did get to do. So you weren't sure if you were going to get the chance <laughs> to actually do the workouts. How grateful are you for that opportunity that you know you did get to show everything that you know these guys who just graduated got to show? Um, I'm very blessed and fortunate that I had a second opportunity to do the whole pro day, to do everything, participate in every drill. I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to showcase my talent in every aspect, lifting weight, speed, and agility as well. So I'm proud of myself. I'm thankful that the uh, university gave me a chance to uh, uh, showcase my talent. How much information do you get? You know what's going on when you see in the dark? Uh, kind of like in the dark. Um, but my light always shines. Um, I'm not sure what, what goes on from here, but um, just leave it in God's hands and let him direct my path. Um, if, it, if it's meant for me to play in the NFL, then I'll play in the NFL. So. Do more workouts after this? Um, I'm praying that I'll, I'll have another workout after this, but um, nothing scheduled yet at this point. So. You a better player now than you were? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I have different uh, aspects of my game now as far as lining up that slot, uh, punt return, kick return. So, yes, I, I believe that's my game improved. Uh, and thanks for the CFL allowing me to uh, go over and, and play the game. So you, mentioned, you mentioned injuries, too. I mean, coming off of your senior year was obviously a, an injury plague season for you. Do you feel healthier now? Do you feel like you were able to do more today than you did at, at your pro day? Uh, yeah, this year um, I'm, I'm way more healthier than, than I was in 2011. Uh, I just had a bad will coming off of my senior year. I had a, a toe injury and an ankle injury, so I had a bad will. Um, I'm physically and mentally healthy. And, um, I, went, I, I went into every drill confident and that's ability I laid on the line. How much do you feel like that affected you that year, 2011? I mean, people getting a chance to not really see what you're capable of. Um, I feel like it, it kind of played a part of my mental uh, coming into the pro day of 2011 because um, when I went up to the line to do the agility drills, I wasn't confident uh, in my leg what I could do. But uh, coming out here, I was more confident this year. So. How much did it help you that you know, you're working out with Mike Barwis and with a lot of other guys who are wearing the flying WP? I mean, you had teammates who were with you, so everybody was able to push you the whole time. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is where we started at, and we just took it back up to bars. It felt great. Uh, me, J, uh, my, myself, JT Thomas, Pat White, Arla Garnett, uh, we all been up at bars, and that's where we started. Uh, well, I started here my freshman year with bars, so it felt great to reunite with those guys and get the back, get back to the bases, what we know, a blue collar and, and gold mine. So. That's so why we stick together and we ride together. It's a great feeling. What was it like? What was it like competing with uh, Sims out there? And how do you think you did compared to him? Uh, we, we both were trying to earn, earn a job. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say we was competing, but uh, we, we laid our best on the line. Um, he's a great running back. Uh, I'm proud of I'm proud of his career that he had in West Virginia, and I'm pretty sure he'll have a great career ahead of him. You seemed like in the beginning of the drills, before you guys to the 40s, you were kind of going up, giving everybody a high five, you know, getting them ready for the day. Do you feel like as, as a older, you know, more of a veteran guy here, that was kind of your job was to get everybody ready for this, knowing that, that this could be their only time doing it? Well, that's just my leadership skills and the type of person that I am. Um, I feel like a lot of guys was tense, and this is my second go around, so I was a little more relaxed and comfortable. So, I mean, just give them a little juice to go out and give, give it their best. That's all you can do at the end of the day. Is Canada still an option for you? Uh, yes, it still, it still is an option. Canada still is an option for me. If everything doesn't work out with NFL, for sure. Montreal, is they still have your rights? <clears throat> yes, Montreal still still do have my rights. Yes. What were you looking at today? Off. What was the most important thing you wanted to come out and, and show these scouts today? Um, mainly, mainly that I'm still in shape and um, I still can run fast. Um, I still have everything I had when I was here at West Virginia, my senior year, if not better. So just to showcase my talent, my speed, 
explosiveness and uh, catching the ball. So, do you all do you have a spot in the NFL or do you have <laughs> three or four different spots? <laughs> I just want to play ball. It could be anywhere on the field and I'm pretty sure I can get the job done. Um, receiver, running back, punt return, kick return. Utility guy. <laughs> Yes, I feel like um, the game has changed um, to like more of a hybrid, like Tavon, um, Percy Harvin, more of the receivers, uh, even Cobb as well. Motion into the backfield, motion to the slot. Um, like I said, the more you can do, the better. And, that's, that's what the NFL seems like it's turning into now, more of a spread and using their hybrid guys more. You see Tim on that with a touch pass, right? Yeah. Hot potato. Yeah. You put yourself in his shoes, I wonder what that would be like if you guys to run that five times a game. Uh, yes, we have similar skill sets, um, and I can visualize myself doing some of the same things. Talk about that hybrid mentality. Did you have that coming out? I mean, 2011. Did you did you look at yourself, as, or is that something that you feel like you've developed over the last couple of years? Um, I feel like I developed that going into Montreal with Mark Tressman. He's now the uh, Chicago Bears coach. Um, I felt he, he used me um, in a way that I never been used before. I was in the slot getting screen passes and uh, just took it and ran with from there. And I realized what I can do with my speed and my quickness out in open field, other than just running through linebackers. I feel like trust me, use me the correct way that I was supposed to use. You weren't able to um, finish the uh, workouts with the running backs. Were you okay, or what was uh, that? I had a little stomach virus, uh, and I caught a cramp towards the end, so it shortened my windpipe. I couldn't really breathe. Um, going into this, I came, I came in uh, pulling up Ashley, so I had a little stomach virus, but I did my best to finish through everything. So do you think I that would two reps, so. would that would that hurt you, or do you think it wouldn't matter? Or? Uh, you did sure. most of it. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's it's up to the uh, scouts and, and and the personnel uh, to decide. But like I said, I did my best.